Hey Danny Boyle here, founder of Songwriters International, where we help songwriters develop their craft and go on to monetize their songwriting. Now today, we're gonna to be talking about how to write a hook. A hook that is catchy, repetitive, and hooky, that engages the listener in simple steps. Okay, so if you're wanting to write stronger hooks in your song, then this is where to be. If you haven't already, hit that subscribe button for more videos just like this and hit that like and come over for more videos. Now, let's get stuck into this and let me share my best tips on how to write stronger hooks. So first of all, let's identify what the hook is, okay? Now, the hook is the part of your song that is the simplest, the easiest to remember. That's something you've got to go into the writing session every time, understand it. When you are writing the hook, it has to be easy. The other areas of your song, like the verses, have to be the more in-depth areas where the story is being told, where the listener is going on a journey. But come the hook, which is typically around the chorus, it has to be simplistic, okay? Now, how do we do that? Well, we do it through the power of melody. And that is because that is how we create the hook, through melody. Now, it could be a production melody, something you do later on after writing the song, or it could be a vocal melody that you create during the writing session, okay? Now, whatever one you prefer doesn't really matter, but from experience, I find that vocal hooks are far better. And the reason for that is because we're speaking and we're, we're singing to other human beings, and we're doing that through our vocal, right? So if we can give them something to sing that we're singing ourselves, it usually connects a little bit easier. So when we come to writing our hook, what we do is we don't overcrowd it with too many lyrics or we don't make our melodies too long because again it's going to make it harder and what we're trying to do is literally simplify everything for our listener if you make their life easier to remember something you're going to have a better song so what we use typically lyrically is throwaway lyrics throwaway lyrics consist of lyrics like oh yeah las baz does anything right but don't they don't have to make sense in the context of your song it doesn't matter all you're trying to do again it comes back to that one word simplify things okay a lot of your favorite songs at some point will probably use something like that or they will strip the lyric back super super easy don't be using words with really long syllables because again you're going to turn the listener off you want to invite them in also with the hook we must not overcrowd it in our song okay we may give it to the listener three, four, five, possibly six times throughout our song, depending on how you structure it. But don't overcrowd it in the song because you can easily give it too much within your song. So you have to balance it right by giving it enough, but also not over providing it for the listener. So what I want to do is give you some real life examples of songs that I'm pretty sure you're going to know. And even if you don't, you're still gonna get this concept. And these are really successful songs that have had millions of record sales, millions of streams, and literally millions of people listening to them. So, if I dive and jump and get my guitar, I'm gonna share with you some of these songs and give you the example, because I think this is where you're gonna actually understand it a lot more. So there's a very well-known song by Ed Sheeran. It's called Shape You. Today, I think it's the most streamed song over on Spotify, and it uses this technique that we're talking about in order to write a really strong repetitive hook. So let me give the, the song in context, okay? So it goes like this. Oh why, oh why, oh why, oh why I'm in love with your body Oh why, oh why, oh why, oh why I'm in love with your body And it does that for, I think, four times round. Now, if you haven't heard that song, I can imagine it's already ingrained in your head ever so ever so slightly, right? Or you might be already singing it. If you know the song, then you know what this hook is all about. But it's super simple. It uses the O, the throwaway lyric, and it just does a simple line of, I'm in love with your body, okay? And only at the end does it change. But super, super easy. Now as the listener, they're just like, wow, okay, easy to remember. If you also look at Ed Sheeran's song which was, was his first number one. Uh, it's a song called Sink, and it does the oh, 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 and it just does some simple O's, okay? Now another song is a track by a, a dance trio 
called Swedish House Mafia. And they have a song called Don't You Worry Child. And they have a really amazing sing-along section. And I'm gonna perform it here for you and show you what it is, okay? So it goes like this. Oh, 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 oh. That's all it is. Now imagine that at a festival or a show of theirs and you don't even know what their music is. You are going to pick up on that hook because it's so, so easy to remember. Okay, and one more example I'm going to give you is a, a song by a very well-known band called Guns N' Roses. Okay, now this song is quite a few years back now, but what I'm trying to show you as well here is that this technique, this way of working and writing a hook is not genre specific. It's not you know, a thing that has only come round of the past few years. It's been going for many, many years now, okay? So, let's go to this. Oh, oh, sweet child of mine. Oh, oh, sweet love of mine. Now, if you've heard that song, you have heard that before. But if you haven't, I'm sure you've already picked up on that hook. It's got an O, and then it's got a line that changes. Sweet love of mine and sweet child of mine. Okay, so it actually sings the title of the song. But it's so, so easy to remember, okay? It's just throwaway lyrics, and in context, you might know, not know what the story of those lyrics are, okay? But it doesn't matter, because as the listener, what, what they are doing, they're engaging. They're picking up on the hook. It's repetitive. It's super, super important. And that's one uh, really important thing is for it to be repetitive, okay? Don't over give it to the listener, but make sure you give it enough times. So if you've got a really good hook, don't just give it once or twice, you know, give it a minimum three, four times, because that way you're gonna engage the listener a lot more. So that's the best way to go ahead and write some hooks into your song. It's so easy. And like I say, best practice is to do it in the chorus. Okay, because our verse is for the story. It's to engage the listener, tell them a little bit about what's going on, introduce characters, storylines, that kind of thing. And the chorus is that kind of moment where the listener can go, okay, I've got the story now, give me something simple. And then you go on to verse two to carry on that storyline and continue telling the story to the listener. And then they are reintroduced to a simple hook. Okay, so it's really important to remember they're the best ways to go ahead and write hooks into your songs. It's simple, it's easy, and it gets cemented into the listener's head. So go ahead and try it in your songwriting. I really hope you've enjoyed this video, and if you want more videos just like this one on all things songwriting, then go ahead, click that subscribe button, drop in the comments any videos that you would like to see. And we've also got a free training right now in that description that you can go ahead and watch. So go ahead and check that out. And that's everything from me, Danny Boyle here from Songwriters International. I hope you've enjoyed this video all about how to write hooks into your songs. So go ahead and write some really cool, catchy, repetitive hooks. All right, see you soon.